Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my let's play of Night Blights. Let me turn this down a little actually. As you can tell, I'm using my good old headphones. Uh, cheap, barely functional, but they haven't let me down yet. I mean, they beat FNAF 4 for me. <laughs> okay, so... This is a game I actually wanted to play for a while, I just never really got around to it because... School, okay, that's it. That's just that's what I'm gonna say. School, because it's the truth. Now, it's an indie game off of Game Jolt Free. It's nothing spectacular. Uh, I think it was actually made by a college student as a project, though I'm not sure about that. But by Gary Bunn, as we can see. Alright. A and D to turn pages, E to select the day of the week, okay? You play as a small child that must protect your family and yourself from an infestation of night blights. Contains some flashing imagery. Okay, so epilepsy warning, getting that out of the way. This game was created by a single developer as part of a student project. Yeah, please enjoy. Okay, so I was right about that. The night blight. As the sun does go down and up comes the moon. The terror from the darkness will be arriving soon. They will hide in the shadows and strike sudden and quick. But sometimes more mischievous and you they shall trick. Here is the goal and trust this rule of thumb. You must survive until morning when then sunlight does come. Shakespeare everybody. So be warned and may it fill you with fright. There is nothing more scary than a hungry night blight. Monday, which, okay, we can't go past Monday. Safe in your bed, or so it may seem, they come from below whilst you slumber and dream. As they close in, they will growl and make noise. Best feed them quickly with one of your toys. Whenever the shadow of night falls onto the globe, you can be grabbed from any wardrobe. Best keep your eyes peeled and shut their doors firm and and their doors firmly shut, else they will leap out and their sharp teeth shall cut. That's dramatic. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, from what I've heard, I don't know much about this game. This is entirely blind, but I do know that it's kind of like a combination of Five Nights at Freddy's and Among the Sleep. Both two are games that I love with all of my heart. Okay, yeah, that's not fooling anyone, but yeah. Uh, so, I'm assuming that things are going to get more complicated as the nights go on, and this is just Monday. So, also you need to survive. Each night lasts 10 minutes exactly, so it's a lot longer than 5 minutes at Freddy's. But yeah, let's begin. I believe we're playing as a toddler. Use the mouse, spacebar... Okay. Night play under your parents' and your sister's beds, okay. This is a big house, actually. And I do plan on beating this, by the way. Remember to feed them toys when they growl. Okay, so there's toys all over the place. How hard can that be? Also, keep the wardrobe shut or your night will become more difficult. Okay. So there's wardrobes all over the place. There are four in total and the fridge. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so there's one there, the fridge. Protect your family until 7 a.m. Good luck. Okay, here we are. So, pick up, drop. Okay, so. I pick you up with... What was that? How do I pick them up? Running equals tired equals danger. Okay, so I can run, but then I'll be tired and that equals danger. Okay, so I can just pick them up like this. I hear you, Mr. Wardrobe. Okay, so there's toys all over. And I'm blinking. Little jack in the box over here. Okay, so there's toys pretty much everywhere. Okay, 
He just said he was hungry, okay. Okay, so when they say they're hungry, feed them. So I'm assuming that you only uh, need to run if you absolutely have to, if I remember correctly. Also, when I was reading the description, they said the developer said something that he made an update where he had to remove a random, a randomly occurring event from under the stairs. I'm assuming he means these stairs. Because it caused frame rate issues, but oh wow, that is wide open. But he does want to put them back in eventually. Okay, so it controls a little awkwardly, but you know, I guess I'll get used to it. And it actually is a pretty unique concept, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. It's not really that horrifying though. That is not good, is it? Oh, let go up. Run, 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 run as fast as you can. Gingerbread man. Oh yeah, stay shut. So it doesn't seem like there's much to take care of on this night. Okay, that was like the poltergeist reference, I guess. So I think this guy was hungry. Oh, I see you there. Eat up, fat ass. So, so far, it seems like the one under the sister's bed is way more active than the one in my parents' room, so I'm gonna... Or maybe it's just a coincidence. Okay, so this game relies a lot on sound cues, so it is pretty much Five Nights at Freddy's. Four. Except this came out before Five Nights at Freddy's 4, I should make that clear. Also, uh, on a side, swear to God, if that's you, it's you, greedy little bastard. Just fed you. Okay, we got Mr. Dinosaur clipping through a wall here. Come on. Dino buddy. I should probably stop running so much, actually. This kid has so many toys, and actually it's a pretty big house too, while I'm... Okay then, I'm not gonna question that. Give me that stupid toy. Fine. Keep it, I didn't want it anyways. That's you, right? Jesus Christ, no it isn't. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this one downstairs, because there's plenty of toys up there. Actually, does that wardrobe need to be closed? Mm, just a little. Okay, so there's... I hear a clock. Where's the... Oh, there. Okay, so it's almost uh, 4 o'clock. That or I need the new glasses. Which, I do actually have glasses, by the way. I just don't wear them when I record. Not that I think I look bad in them, it's just that... Are you a toy? No, you're not. It's just that I don't feel like wearing them when I don't really need to. I hear a wardrobe. Stay shut. Oh, 
Good to know. Greedy little... Wait, it's not you? Shit, it's upstairs. I, I'm trying not to curse, I really am. Guess it was only a matter of time. Shut up, I heard you. What the? Feed it! Oh, I swear to God, if that was the downstairs one. Gee, come to me. Ha! Ah, I. This is so stupid. Eat up, little. The upstairs parents one hasn't wanted food even once. Meanwhile, this greedy little bastard is just demanding all the toys. Wait, is that a companion cube? That's a companion cube! God. That's a freaking companion cube! He's... Shut up. His parents must be huge Portal fans. I mean, I am too. I played Portal, Portal 2, Portal Stories Mel, Portal Prelude, Aperture Tag, which was broken as hell. Which, if you're a speedrunner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And is that Aku Aku? Is that Aku Aku? Oh my god, I think that's Aku Aku. And the phone is ringing. That looks like freaking Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. So we have Aku Aku. We have the companion cube. It's like, oh my god. Heisenberg, too. This is just a game of references. Oh my god. Okay, so it's almost 6 o'clock. Just a bit longer. I hear ya. Oh, you, you're not hungry. I should probably get more toys for the downstairs room, actually. I don't see many toys, though. Shut. I hear you. It's a good thing that toy... Oh, we made it. Tuesday unlocked. Okay. One minute. Oh, I'm in the middle of recording something right now. Thank you. Unbelievable. That is just the most annoying thing ever. I. There's literally a sign that says I'm recording something. It couldn't wait 30 seconds, whatever she wanted to tell me. That is just the most obnoxious thing ever and it just frustrates me every time whatever anyways we made it and I was gonna say it's a good thing that toys are a good substitute for human flesh okay that was horrible and that is annoying and she's probably gonna get mad at me for yelling at her well I wasn't yelling but you get the gist of it I'm probably in for punishment later great my blights are deadly and only children can see. Also, the taste of small babies fills them with clay. <laughs> well, good to know. Oh, what the hell? Voice crack. As they grow near, the baby will cry. Spin the mobile, sw mobile swiftly, else baby shall die. Okay, so there's a baby too. The garage door may be open and breathing you'll hear. If this is the case, this means a nightlight is near. So press the red button to keep the door shut tight. This will help keep you safe throughout the long night. Okay, so that was Nightblights. That's the first episode, and if you guys want to see any more Nightblights, like I know we're only going 15 minutes in, maybe I'll make longer episodes if you guys want to see more. I don't even know if you guys like this series so far. 
so I'm gonna upload it. Tell me what you guys think of Night Blights, and I will see you on the flip side.